put out like this is the money I'm going to burn. Yeah. If if, if I burn it, it's fine. I'm not gonna cry, and I'm not, it's not gonna hurt me. So mm -hmm. that I put out a, a chunk of money, and I say, okay, this is how this is how much I'm going to use to mm -hmm. start my business. Mm -hmm. And if that that's over, then. Um, and find uh, buy another job again. It's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, For you to have that courage to do that, that's that's awesome. Because I know a lot of people actually, they want to, but the fear of jumping into the wild, jumping into the darkness is so real. Like there's no safety net, no nothing. And, and I guess well, like, the good thing about me is like yeah, I'm single, I know I don't have the family to take care, mm, I don't have a mortgage, mm, you know, so I have nothing to do. Mm. You might be asking like the rough range of how much you, you you're like, this is my amount, it's like 30k, 50k? Yeah, I started with um, 30k. 30k, you're like, that's my budget, I'm gonna throw 30k in there, invest my time, and see where it brings me. Yeah. That's awesome. But afterward, uh, that 30k was like, like very limited. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I put in another like 20k after like uh, yeah. half a year, so. Yeah, because you see that there's, there's I a see response. that there's, there's, there's working, working. Yeah. yeah, there's working, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, then I invested a little bit more, and, that's awesome. Yeah. And then, and then, like that grew by wildfire. Like I think once you started to do the pop ups, yeah. And then as you grow that, and as you more and more people know about you, as people are more tagging you, it just kind of caught, and it just tipped the scale, and you just became super busy from there onwards, right? Yeah. Right. And I guess like when you're pulling in that much traffic, like. And, and at one point, you were creating like, what, 200 cakes all by yourself for Christmas. for Christmas. Tell me about that story. Like, it wasn't that fast to get to 200 like, cakes. Okay, what was that duration? Was that, that a year? Or yeah, like, that was like a, a good, uh, yeah, like 10 months. 10, 10 months, months a year. is very fast, my friend. For you to get yeah. that traction, <laughs> like to be able to have that kind of traction, that's really fast. Yeah. But there was a, a time where it, it was really slow as mm. well, because, um, in after summer fall time was like super slow yeah and, for sure and also there was a lot of like uh, struggle finding a uh, spot to, to sell mm. because what I selling my, my kind of HP doing pop-up is very dependent on the location where I am mm. so it doesn't matter so it's not like I can go anywhere and sell and, and still have a lot of foot traffic people don't really want to travel too far for mm. something like so they want to stick around the, the, the city uh, if, if I went, for example, all the way to UBC, which is mm. all the way to the west, people are not going to like travel from, from all the way east to, to, to UBC just to, like, to buy my pastries, right? It's, so the location of where I do my pop-up is very important. And at some point, I didn't have the best location. Mm. So my, my sales was down uh, a lot, even though people like know about me, but it's, mm. I wasn't like that popular yet yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, until I... I stuck to one place, which is Sweet Barrel, like where I mm. produce my stuff. So I said, like, I'm not gonna go anywhere <laughs> in other other cafe because mm. traveling with my all my pastries to one place oh, or another yeah. is also very tiring. Yeah. So it's I like just delicate. And yeah, it's super and just, careful. Yeah, and then you have to like uh, like make sure everything it's it's really cold before you put it in your, in your mm. car because it's summer, it's gonna melt. <laughs> so you have to like all that little like it's just so hectic. Yeah. So it's it was very just easier to to stay stick at one place at yeah. one place at some point because I already had a little bit of um, following. Yeah, yeah. So I just stick that sweet girl, even though sweet girl, it's it's pretty far. Like comp like because all my customers are pretty much in the east side or mm. city side, like c middle like city center. For them to go to to sweet sweet girl, it's mm. a bit far. Mm. But since like I stayed there and I said I'm gonna go nowhere else. Well, they, they, they have to go. To find. Yeah, they yeah, have to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if they don't come, they exactly, have to exactly. Yeah, yeah. So and also like uh, grew the the customer base in that area too. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Where Super is, even though it's not really kind, like it's not. Um, who you want to serve? Uh, it's not like who I want to serve, but it's not the the, the geographic um, that you cater that, to. That it just it took a little bit longer to mm. to grow my uh, my business there. Like one of the things that really kind of bothered me about you is just, why don't you hire people to help you out? <laughs> like why do you want to put yourself through the nightmare? And even for this place, like I, I think like you, you do decently well for yourself, I would say, right? And you you've been busy. Why? Why are you going to hire help? I should have hired way like before, mm -hmm. like, so you train them, so I can train them, mm -hmm. right? But it's, it comes Christmas, December, and I'm so busy with work. Uh, There's no time to like like hold somebody's hand and yeah. make sure everything is done because that will actually slow me down. Uh, uh, so 
So I rather just do it by myself in yeah, yeah. general time. Okay. Just hammer it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, because I didn't know that I was going to be so busy. Right, because yeah. September to November it was, was slow. It was slow. It was mm. dead. You're like, you know what? Enough with this pop up space thing. Like, I'm going to start building my own. And that's kind of when this whole thing conceptualized after the Christmas time. You're like, you know what? It's time. It's time for you to have your own space. Yeah, but at some point, um, like sharing the kitchen, it's, 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 not, it's not really bad for two girls. They, they're very accommodating. But at some point, like, I feel like I, I'm kind of like in their way because they also need the kitchen. And I'm, I'm, I'm growing, so I'm, I think I, I'm going to a point where I'm actually using his, his part of the, the fridge too. Uh, and I'm using his part of, of so I feel like I'm, I'm, in, I'm stepping uh, over too much. Mm -hmm. So I have to like, have, so it, it wasn't able to contain my, my growth in that yeah. space. So I had to like find a new space. So, uh, and plus, I didn't want to just open, the like, hop up is only once a week, because that's oh, all right, I could, yeah. that's all I could um, afford with one person work, like myself. Yeah. So I needed a, a space where I can open more, like more right. hours and, yeah. and, and grow my business faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I needed to have my own space. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I, I found this, this location. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's not huge, but this is where my, my money can take me for mm -hmm. now. So yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's it's amazing. Like for you to actually commit to this. Now you put all the profits, all the money you make. You're gonna roll it back into the space. Yeah. Build your own thing again. Yes. So yeah, reinvest everything. 